What's going on guys? In this video, we're going to start working with HTML and templates using the Sheen HTTP framework. And if you wanna learn data science with Python, check out Data Camp. There is a link in the description below this video. And you can also download the Golan Cheat Sheet. There is a link in the description below as well. Remember to subscribe to the channel and let's get started. Let's get started by adding a new folder where we're going to store all the HTML templates. So we're going to call it templates. And here I'm going to create a couple of HTML files. Let's get started by the header, that HTML. I'm also going to create a footer, that HTML. And finally, an index HTML that is going to include both the header and the footer. The header is gonna be pretty simple. Let's add the doc type. Let's add the HTML tag. Let's add the head tag. Let's add the title. And let's add a reference to Bootstrap. And this is the URL to import the latest version of the Bootstrap CSS framework. And finally, we're going to add the opening tag of the body, of the body, like this. Let's assign a class container. And the footer is going to have just two elements. It's going to close the body of the document. And it's going to close the HTML tag, like that. And that's pretty much it for the footer. And then we have the index that is going to include the header. And in order to include the header, we can use template and the name of the file. In this case, header.html. And the same for the footer at the end. So instead of header, it's going to be footer, like that. And in a couple of minutes, we are going to add dynamic content here to render the videos that are part of our API. And now I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it CSS, where I'm going to store the CSS files for the application. So I'm going to create a new file, index.css. Okay, let's go to the server. And Sheen provides two functions to load the static assets that we just created here within the templates folder. So the first function is going to be server that static, static, that will allow us to serve static files such as CSS files. So the first param is going to be the relative path. This is going to be the URI that we are going to use to serve the CSS file. So this is going to be slash CSS. And the second parameter is going to be the root directory that in this case is templates. CSS. The second function is the function that will allow us to load the HTML templates. And this function is load HTML glob. And here we need to put the path to the templates. That in this case is templates. And here we can use wildcard.html. A feature that Shim provides that will allow us to organize our API endpoints is the ability to group a set of endpoints. So we are going to create two groups. The first group is going to include the existing endpoints. These two is get and post. It's going to be an API group. And then we're going to create a view group that is going to include a method to render HTML contents. So the first group is going to be API routes. And it's going to be server that group. And it's going to be slash API. And in order to add these two endpoints, this get endpoint and the post endpoint within this API group, we need to use curly braces like this. And we need to replace server here by API routes. So 
So this is going to be API routes.get and API routes.post. And the second group is going to be view routes. And here we're going to define a server that group and the name is going to be slash view. And again, here we have the curly braces and we create our endpoint that is going to be view routes that get and we're going to use videos and we need to create a function. So it's going to be nil for now. And we're going to create a new function within the video controller to show all the existing videos. And that function is going to use the templates that we created here, this index HTML file. Okay, so this is going to be video controller that show all. Okay, let's add this function to the video controller. Here to the interface, we need to add that function that is going to receive the context like this. And let's implement this function here. Funk is going to be a pointer to the controller struct, controller. And it's going to be show all. And we're going to receive the context like this here. Okay, first we're going to get all the existing videos and we're going to store that in a local variable. So it's going to be C dot service dot find all. And we're going to create a map where we are going to store all the variables that we're going to use within the templates. So it's going to be data and we're going to use shin.h, that is basically a map. And we're going to use two variables, title, and let's call it video page and videos where we're going to assign the list of videos that we get here from the service. And this is the map that we're going to pass to the template. So in order to pass this data to the template, we need to use ctx.html. And here we pass the status code that is HTTP that status okay that is okay, like this. Then we need to pass the file name of the template that is going to be index, index.html. And the third parameter is going to be the map where we assign the variables that we're going to pass to the template. So this is data. Okay, now let's move on to the template. So we we'll go to the header. Here we have the title. And the idea is to use this title here that we are passing here as part of that template. So we can render that variable like this and the name of the variable. And doing that, we are going to render, in this case, this value, video page as the title of our page. Okay, now if we go to the index file, here I already added this boilerplate and what we are going to do here, we are going to render each video. As we can see here, we have the source of the video. This is the code, actually an iframe that YouTube provides if you want to embed a video within a web page. So this is the URL of the video, and this is the title of the video, and here is the description of the video. So we are going to replace these three values by attributes of the videos, which extract is this one. We have the title, we have the description, and we have the URL, and we are going to ignore the rest. Okay, let's go back to the index. So here 
the URL. This is going to be that URL. And what else? Uh, this one is going to be column braces. It's going to be title. And the last one is going to be description. And I forgot here to loop over the list of videos. And to do that, we need to use the range keyword. So this is going to be range. And here we need to use period. And the name of the variable that in this case is this one, that is named videos. So we need to use that. This is videos. And we need to close this loop here using the end keyword. Okay, and that's pretty much all we need. So let's try this. Go run server.go. And here, as we can see, we have the two endpoints of the API. These are the endpoints that we already created. And this is the new endpoint that is going to render this HTML template. And here, as we can see, this is the function that is going to run. This is the, actually the handler for this get endpoint here. Okay, so let's create a couple of videos using the API. I already created a couple of payloads to create new videos. So I'm going to create those videos. And yeah, okay. I'm exceeding the max length. So I'm going to make it uh, 200, let's say here, and 200 here. Okay. I'm going to restart this. And let's run this now. Okay, now we can create the videos here. This is unauthorized. I need to add actually the authorization. It's gonna be basic auth. I'm going to create it now. Yes, now I can because we need to use we need to pass these basic authentication credentials. So the same here, authorization, basic auth, we send this, and now we are able to create this video as well. So now if you go to this URL, localhost 8080 slash view slash videos, we're gonna see the videos that we created. Here is the video, the first video, the second video, and the third video showing the iframe with the video, the title, and the description. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel and I see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.